The brewers at Mackinac Trail Winery and Brewery in Petoskey are already hard at work preparing for a pretty special dinner coming next month. In this week's Brewvine, photojournalist Jeremy Erickson and I show you why tickets for this year's experimental dinner are going fast. Super busy between the beer, the wine, the cider. We've been hard at work back there for sure. Super busy preparing for a big event. This year, Mackinac Trail Winery and Brewery will be hosting their third annual experimental beer dinner, where guests will get to try some very unique creations. Well, the cool part about the experimental beer dinner, they kind of leave it up to me. Um, the first year I did a beer with Pez. Second year I did, for example, a beer with um, Dill, I did a Dill Pickle Goza which turned out awesome. We're just going into um, distribution and that's one of our four beers that are going to be out throughout the whole state of Michigan. It's an experiment that has been a hit with craft beer enthusiasts for the past two years. We're selling 50 tickets this year for the dinner. We've sold out the past two years. We're on track to sell out here pretty soon for the dinner this year also. Um, each of the beers comes with a um, small plate of food. People don't leave thirsty or hungry. It's a great time. Each year, they come up with 10 new beers for their guests to sample during dinner. And this year, event goers can even have their favorite brew canned to take home and enjoy later. This year, we have anything from a raspberry lime sour to a uh, blonde stout brewed with coffee from Big Medicine Ranch roasted on Eastport. We have a peanut butter and jelly ale coming out in March. The philosophy in this brew house could be summed up as you never know until you try. If it sounds good, I'm going to try it. We have a lot of the basic styles, like the IPAs and the stouts also, but I mean, how many other dill pickle beers do you see on the market, you know? So I think the creativity part sets us aside. But even if you can't make it to the dinner this year, you may soon see some of their most popular concoctions at a bar or store near you. Right now we're just focusing on uh, bars and tap rooms. Um, we just got a new bottling line here recently, so starting this summer you'll start seeing our bottles out in different bottle shops and stuff also. For Brewvine in Petoskey, I'm Whitney Amen.